I feel like we just got off the topic of talking about garbage influencers being a burden to society just for some basic attention on the internet. But hey, today we're talking about that again. Because lo and behold, we have another case of someone impersonating Mr. Beast employees to trick a disabled kid into thinking he was going to be in a Mr. Beast video. So congratulations to that influencer. He's now a member of the Garbage Influencer Hall of Fame. But not only did he just do that, he also made a video calling out the eight-year-old kid calling him a liar. But we'll get into that later on this video. But as most of you guys know, Mr. Beast has been sending employees around for his short form content, giving random people challenges to win pretty large prizes. Do you follow Mr. Beast on TikTok? Uh, yeah. Let me see. Nah, I don't. Oh, you don't. Do you follow Mr. Beast on TikTok? No. Do you? I do. No way. Could I put a blindfold on you for a second? No, you gonna protect me too. Of course, Mom. I know come on. <laughs> So you answered yes to following us on TikTok? Yes, sir. As a reward, you get this brand new car. There's a gimmick somewhere. The only gimmick is that these car keys are yours. I cannot believe this right now. And this sadly leaves room for some garbage influencer who wants attention to trick people. Because, I mean, it can be hard to know if it's really someone working for Mr. Beast and you don't really want to pass on that opportunity. So people end up getting tricked into doing it. And sadly, we've actually seen some of these antics before because I've actually covered it in a YouTube short. Because this guy was the first guy to do it from what I could tell. Mr. B sent me his credit card here and he told me to get everybody whatever they want. If Foot Locker. Everybody, you got 30 seconds, get whatever you want. Meet me at checkout. Oh, you got 30 seconds, you got 30 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He wants a sweater. Okay. Oh my God, what else? What else? Oh my God. He wants some shoes. Okay. Okay. What else? 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 Come on, man. I'm broke as It's so weird to me that people will just happily lie for some content. And while that's a garbage thing to do, thankfully the people he was pranking or scamming, at least they weren't eight years old. Unlike the video that we're about to cover today where they did it on an eight-year-old with a hearing impairment. You guys want to be in a quick video? We, uh, whatever you can fit into your, in this aisle right here, whatever you can fit into the cart, we'll pay for. You ever heard of Mr. Beast? I don't know, you might have. We're kind of like Mr. Beast, not really though. Anything here? Yeah, anything. No. So you're not watching? Oh. Yes. Watch Wait, hold on. Dude, I feel so bad. The kid is so happy. Yeah, that's a normal human emotion. So he is socially aware enough to know what he's doing is wrong. But he chooses the chance of some sweet attention on the internet over the feelings of others, even if it's an eight-year-old kid. So put the 30-second timer. You have 30 seconds. Grab anything. Put it in this cart. Okay. Are you ready, Frank? Yeah. Just hold on. Let, let's get that timer ready. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Uh-huh. 10 seconds. You got 20 more seconds. I love how people like this will post this content proudly proving how garbage of a human being they are. Haha, -ha, you see that eight-year-old kid with hearing disabilities? We're going to prank him epically. We're going to lie to him and say anything that he puts in the cart in 30 seconds, we'll buy for him. But when he does it, we're going to run away. Haha, -ha, subscribe for more epic pranks. That's actually his outro. Hope you enjoyed me bullying an eight-year-old kid. Like and subscribe. Cue the rap music. There is a special place for people like that where you'll be hit by a spoon slowly. Where did this all go wrong? How stupid is the new generation of YouTube pranksters? I would take Who Man TV's fake gold digger pranks any day over something like that because while they were cringe and fake, at least no one was harassed or shamed during the filming of those. TJ Lyle says his heart sank when he realized his son Gabe had been duped. Me as a father, it, it devastated me. Because I, I, the very last thing I want to do is ever hurt him. Lyle says he and his son had been shopping at Target when three men approached, claiming to be from a YouTube channel that rewards people for doing challenges. When Gabe told them he was hearing impaired, they said that's why they chose him. The lead person out of the three immediately said that's who we were looking for. 
was somebody that had a disability. The three men asked Gabe and his father to take a blindfolded challenge, saying if Gabe could fill a shopping cart in 30 seconds, they would pay for it. But instead, we had the blindfolds on. And at the 10 second marker, I hear footsteps running. Lyle says his son was in tears. It's so sad to see this incredible level of desperation some of these TikTok and YouTube pranksters have, even though it completely makes them look like a total waste of oxygen. He chose to upload these videos, even though he knows he's completely humiliating an eight year old. But thankfully, this story does have a positive ending. Hearing about the situation, Southington's Commission for Persons with Disabilities reacted. I got angry. If I'm being honest, I was very, very angry to hear that they would target this child. First thing we said was, what, what can we do? Advocating for the boy, they bought a Target gift card. Target matched the contribution, and together they were able to present Gabe $400, providing a real shopping spree. It's always refreshing there's way more good people out there in the world than bad people. But what's so wild about this story is the prankster made an entire video responding to this news story. Before we continue the video, I just want to clear the air for anyone that hates me right now that wants to rip off my beard or shave my eyebrows or rip my ears off or something. I don't think anyone wants to hurt you. I think they just want to laugh at you. You had the option to delete the footage or not include that bit, but instead you're using it as a claim to fame. Dude was essentially like, ah, yes, it was me who lied to and humiliated an eight year old for internet content. Subscribe. I did not know that kid was deaf. I did not know that. All right. Instead of bullying kids, maybe you should change the batteries of his fire alarm. And the dad is exaggerating it and lying to the news because because what happened? I never went up to him saying his son's only in because his son is deaf and has a hearing loss. I never said that. Um, and I never said I worked with Mr. Beast. I did put two callbacks in the video. Like I literally watched the news as I'm editing the video. I my friend calls me and like, bro, you're on the news. So I go and check and I see that and I was like, I thought it was funny, but I also was kind of mad because he lied about me and my friends. And that kind of got me upset because, you know, he, it didn't get me upset because he, you know, he deserved the money. He got the money out of it. But, it, you know, he tried to make us look like we were super bad guys. We were just being bad guys. All right. The main issue of his whole argument here is he's already proven that he's untrustworthy by doing that to a child. Why would we believe nor trust this guy to show us all the footage? Yeah, but I'm, I'm very sorry. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Then he just shows us a video of him doing what he's sorry for over and over again. He's not sorry. And unlike the guy that we talked about yesterday, this guy's probably monetized and he may have made like 150 bucks off of that video, but at what cost? What's interesting to me though, is this is what he's trying to make a career out of. So he must have some weird obsession with harassing random people he doesn't know. So if you go through this guy's catalog, he's averaging a couple thousand views of videos. So this guy's probably working for about 10 cents an hour to make sure that he can run around and harass people for a living, if that's a living. So he needs to be careful or else he might end up like this guy who we covered yesterday, who's currently facing three years in prison and $10,000 in fines for essentially doing public harassment pranks. So check out that one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.